All right, this is number four from uh, the Calc A, B, and B, C exams in 2010. It's form B. Um, and this one's about a squirrel that's moving back and forth. Um, so the first question is, um, when does this squirrel change direction? And you can tell that it changes direction when the velocity is zero and changes sign. That happens at the two points I have highlighted. So we can just write down our answer. So squirrel changes direction at t equals 9 and t equals 15. Um, and then we have to justify it. And we'll say because its velocity changes sign. Um, so it's a good way to start a question. Um, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is about um, the farthest it ever gets from the building. So the candidates are the endpoints, so 0 and 18, and the critical points, so 9 and 15. So what I'm going to do is find its distance from the building at each of those times. So uh, the first one, that's a trapezoid. Uh, you can actually kind of rearrange it, and well, you can definitely rearrange it into a rectangle that has a, a base of 7 and a height of 20, and you can see that would be 140. Uh, the next trapezoid you can also rearrange into a rectangle that goes from 9 to 14, so that's a base of 5, and then uh, the height is yeah, negative 10, so negative 50 really there, but I put 50, put it in red, um, just a different color to indicate that. You just have to keep track of it. And then that's a, uh, well, it's a 2 by 10 and a uh, 5 by 10 triangle, so 25 is what we get there. All right, so each of the distances. So... The distances from A are 140 at t equals 18, uh, 9 rather, at t equals 9, um, and then 90 at t equals 15, because you were at 140 and you subtract 50 from it, because you're going backwards. Um, and now from that 90, you have to add 25, because it moves in the other direction again. And then, uh, I mean, at 0, the distance is 0. Um, and so the maximum distance is 140 at t equals 9. Uh, you might find it disconcerting throughout this problem that there are no units involved. It bothers me, but uh, there's nothing to be done about it because there just are no units. So let's keep going. Um, question C is about the total distance traveled by the squirrel. And you just have to walk in knowing that total distance is going to be the integral of the absolute value of velocity. And since we already found all these values in the previous part, all we're really going to do is add them up. So 140 plus 50 plus 25, and that gives us a total of 215 somethings. Who knows? Um, no units given, none used. All right, so for part D, we know that um, V of 9 is 0 and that X of 9 is 140. V of 9, you can just read off the graph, and then X of 9 is uh, just the distance traveled, so we calculated that earlier, and um, or rather the distance from the building at t equals 9. Um, so to find a of t, that's just going to be a difference quotient because uh, a of t is constant because v of t is linear. And so filling in the values, or you can really just count it off of the, uh, the graph, you know, down 30 and over 3. Uh, so negative 10 for a of t. And then to get v of t, what I'm going to do, I know that it's a line that goes through the point uh, 9, 0 and has a slope of negative 10. So V of t is 0, and then minus 10, the quantity t minus 9. Um, and that just looks nicer if you write negative, t, uh, negative 10, the quantity t minus 9. Um, to get x of t, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate this. And I know that at t equals 9, it, the position is 140. So x of t is going to be uh, 140. And then minus... I integrated the velocity, so plus 1 times the reciprocal. Um, and I got that, and that was pretty quick. But there's an alternative way of doing it that I think more of you probably would have thought to do. So we can rewrite v of t as negative 10t plus 90. And then we know that x of t is going to be the integral of v of t. So we'll integrate that, plus 1 times the reciprocal, and then plus 1 times the reciprocal, and then plus c. And then we know that it goes through the point um, 9, 140. So 140 equals, so I'm using that point, uh, 9, 140, equals, so you plug in to get that, and then um, solve for C to get negative 265. 
So another way of writing x of t is negative 5t squared plus 90t minus 265, which actually is exactly equivalent to what I got before, but I do think it's a more common way to do the problem. Um, so anyway, that's the whole problem, and I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.